of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sasagot po kayo ng malakas, ha? Blessed be the Lord, the light and life of the world. May His grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we begin this Eucharistic celebration during Pro-Life Month, let us call to mind our sins, especially the sins against life. Lord God, you are the source of life, of all life and goodness. Forgive our lack of appreciation for the gift of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave your life that all mankind might have life. Forgive our indifference in the face of the attempts against human life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord God, you want us to promote a civilization of life and love. Forgive any thought, word, or action through which we may have contributed to the culture of death. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. sa Diyos sa kahitaasan at sa lupay kapayapahan sa mga taong
let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. In a world darkened by sin, virtuous acts are like a source of light. In today's passage, the prophet Isaiah proclaims with clarity what deeds of light are more pleasing to the Lord and the wonderful fruits that such a behavior will produce. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Share your bread with the hungry, sheltered, oppressed, and the homeless. Clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you remove from your needs oppression, false accusation, and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Light shines through the darkness for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be an everlasting remembrance. And evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear, lavishly he gives to the poor, his justice shall endure forever, his horn shall be exalted in glory. preaching in Corinth was characterized by simplicity of presentation, focus on the crucified Christ, and trust in the power of the Holy Spirit. This is what he recalls in the passage we are about to hear proclaimed for our edification and imitation. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
when I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God. I did not come with sublimity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you, except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of his spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly father sisters and brothers dear friends the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ please be seated <clears throat> magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome dito po sa minor basilica of our lady of the holy rosary of manawan Kagaya ng pagbati ko sa inyo ng isang magandang umaga, pakipansin din naman ang mga tao sa inyong paligid, pakibati rin sila ng magandang umaga. At mabuti naman at kayo nakarating dito, talagang yung iba o karamihan sa inyo dahil first Sunday of the month, ay talagang sinasadya ang dambana ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Ibig sabihin, kung alas 6 ngayon, kung kayo galing pa sa malayo, talaga nag-prepare kayo, di ba? Kaya congratulations at kayo nakarating ng maluwalhati dito sa Manawan. At palagay ko ay merong mga dahilan kung bakit kayo ay naandito. Kaya ako nga kayo pinabati sa inyong mga katabi, sapagkat siya nang sinabi sa ating Ebanghelyo ngayong umaga, Buena Mano, you are the light of the world. Eh, palagi ko naman eh, talaga namang kayo ay nagpapaliwanag, di ba? Nagpapaliwanag ng buhay, sarili niyong buhay, at buhay ng ibang tao. Bukod sa ilaw, merong pagpatalinghagan sinasabi, You are the salt of the earth. Tayo ang nagbibigay ng lasa, flavor, sa ating buhay, sa buhay ng mga mahal natin sa buhay, at sa ibang tao, kahit hindi natin kilala. O di ba? Binati nyo. Kumisan, kilala nyo, mahal nyo sa buhay. Pero iba, di ba? Hindi naman. But they are fellow pilgrims na dumudulog dito sa dambana ng mahal na birhen for a reason. Perhaps sila ay nananabang sa buhay, maaring merong madilim na pinagdaraanan sa buhay, 
Kaya sila'y naririto. Huwag natin kakalimutan. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Kasali rin ho ako doon. Tayong lahat ay nagbibigay ng lasa sa buhay. Tayong lahat ay nagbibigay ng ilaw. Alam niyo kasi kapag ka ang isang pagkain, marami naman sa inyo siguro ay marunong magluto. Uh, kahit sinaing siguro. Ano? Kapag ka nilalagyan natin ng asin, ng salt ang ating pagkain, anong sinasabi natin? Wow! Masarap! Diba? Malinamnam. Hindi natin sinasabing lasang asin. Na, notice nyo ba yun, di ba? Halimbawa, adobo. O di kaya sinigang. Wow, ang asin. O, maasin. Tama, kasi sinigang eh, di ba? O di kaya, uh, adobo. O, pag Pinoy na adobo, di ba? Malinamnam. Ang sinasabi natin, malinamnam. Kapag ka sweet and sour. Wow, tamang-tama yung asin. Tamang-tama yung tamis. Pero may asin yun. Hindi natin napapansin yung asin, di ba? Kasi kapag sinabi ng kumakain, ang alat, kapatay na tayo dyan, hindi nakakaini niya. Ang alat naman ito. In other words, yung linamnam ng isang pagkain ay umaangat. Hindi yung asin ang umaangat. E ganun din ang ating buhay, di ba? Hindi tayo masyadong uh, agresibo. Kailangan kainaman lamang. Kailangan ay Uh, tamang-tama lamang sa panlasa ng tao. Kasi kung minsan ang dating natin sa ibang tao, napaka malakas yung dating, di ba? Yung tinatawag nila, sabi ng Gen Z, malakas ang arrive mo, nakaka-turn off. Ganon din sa ilaw. Kung papatayin natin ang ilaw dito sa basilika, di ba madilim? Kapag kayo ay halimbawa, gigising, hahanapin niyo yung Swiss sa inyong bahay o sa inyong silid. Madilim, pwede kayo yung mapatid sa mga bagay na naandyan sa inyong kwarto, di ba? Pero kapag ka nakita nyo na yung switch at na-on nyo na yung ilaw, hindi nyo sinasabi, wow, ang ganda ng ilaw. Hindi. Nakikita nyo mga bagay, nakikita nyo mga kulay. So, hindi napapansin ng ilaw. Ang napapansin natin ay mga tao, mga bagay sa ating kapaligiran. Swabe ang dating ng ilaw. Pero kapag ka ang ilaw ay napakaliwanag, anong ginagawa natin? Di ba? Pumipikit tayo kung minsan sapagkat napakaliwanag. Kaya kailangan banayad rin ng ilaw. Sa ating bahay nga, eh, kailangan may mood lighting. Kung mapapansin nyo dito sa ating basilika, hindi daylight lahat. Merong dilaw, tinatawag dyan ay warm. Di ba? Warm. Hindi yung nakasiwalat lahat, di ba? Nakabuka ka lahat, hindi. Kailangan may mood lighting. Mas mas, mas masarap magdasal, di ba? Kapag halimbawa, candle light. Oh. Kahapon nung nag dahil first Saturday, makikita niyo yung nag-procession. May mga dalang kandila. Iba, iba yung dating, di ba? Eh kung lahat naka-torch light, eh, napakaliwanag. Tayo ay masisilaw masyado, ipipikit natin ang ating mga mata. Eh ganyan daw ang mga Kristiyano. Kailangan tayo ay salt of the earth, pero huwag masyadong maalat. Unhealthy pa nga yan, di ba? Ang mga diet natin, lalong lalo yung mga senior na dito, kasama na ako dyan. Low salt, father. Oh. Eh kapag ka naman low salt, yung iba nga, no salt. Ay napakatabang. Paano ka gaganahan? Di ba? Kailangan ang liwanag ay tamang-tama lamang para mabasa ang mga dapat basahin. Yan ang sinasabi sa atin, You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Yun na yun. Kung minsan nakakalimutan nga lamang natin kapag tayo merong pinagdadaanan. Kapag kasi nabi natin, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world, we make a difference in our own lives and in the lives of other people. Di ba? Lalong-lalo na kayo, mga diboto ng mahal na birhen. Isipin nyo sa inyong mga karanasan, sa inyong buhay, 
How many times have you been the salt and the light of others? Kung inyong titingnan ang inyong mga katabi sa kanilang mga mata, speaking a kind word, acknowledging him or her as having been created in the image and likeness of God. Di ba? Pag tinignan ninyo mga katabi nyo, hindi lamang tayo ang anak ng Diyos. Lahat tayong naan dito ngayon nagsisimba. Oo nga, no? I was created in the image and likeness of God. Kung titignan nyo ang mahal na birhen, di ba? Tao rin naman siya, kakaya natin. Created in the image and likeness of God. Walang pangit. Oh. Walang mataba. Walang maitim. Ang mga katabi nating humihinga at buhay na buhay, they too were created in the image and likeness of God. Di ba? Praise the Lord. Walang pangit kapag kaganyan ang ating inisip. Kaya nga dapat ay tayo mapagbigay. We have to be generous with our compassion, with our time, with our money to take care and make a difference in the lives of people perhaps who are poor, who are hungry and homeless. Eh palagay ko naman, eh, ginawa nyo na rin yun sa inyong buhay, di ba? Siyempre, sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang ang asin at ilaw, hindi yan nagpapapansin. Hindi nyo yung binabandera, ay, magbibigay ako sa mahihirap. O ito ha, o tingnan nyo. Hindi. Hindi makakahiya naman yun. Da. Sometimes we do it, di ba nga, sabi ng Panginoon din eh, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. I'm sure. Marami sa inyo, ganyan ang ginagawa. Quiet lang. Ang Diyos lang ang nakakaalam ng aking ginagawang kabutihan. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. Sometimes, ang pagiging asin at ilaw ay yung pagsisimula ng conversation and rebuilding a relationship. Kasi kadalasan, meron din mga hindi pagkakaunawaan sa ating buhay, hindi po ba? Lalong-lalo na kapag ka tayo nararamdaman natin ay eh, parang wala akong pakialam sa iyo. I'm indifferent. Sapagkat ako'y may nararamdamang sakit. I am uncomfortable. I am inconvenienced but by what I feel. Galit ako. Galit ako sa mundo. Di ba may mga ganyan namang chapter sa ating buhay? Pero pag na-overcome natin yan, kapag ating na-verbalize yung ating, ano man ang ating nararamdaman, kaya nga yung iba na andito rin eh, to ask for healing, to become whole again. Yung iba nga, andito, praying that God will bless you with all the good gifts that you want for yourself and those you love. Pero pwede na naman natin ipagdasal yung mga taong nakasakit sa atin. Yung mga taong iba sa atin. Di ba kung minsan tinitingnan din natin mga katabi natin, ay iba to. Di ba? Ay iba itsura. Ako mayaman, siya medyo hindi naman mayaman, di ba? Ay yayamanin, di ba? Ay poor. Eh, hindi naman natin maaalis yan sa ating buhay. We, we judge people. But then, eh, teka muna. Dahan-dahan tayo sa paghusga sa ating mga kapwa. Why? Because they are created in the image and likeness of God. Sila din ay anak ng Diyos. Mga taong iba sa atin, mga taong hindi palagi nag-a-agree at nag yes sa ating mga kuro-kuro, nagdadasal natin sila. It is choosing a life of self-giving, pagbibigay, rather than taking and acquiring vulnerability rather than being defensive. Hindi na tuloy makalapit sa inyo ibang tao sapagkat baka, ay teka, baka utangan ako nito. Ay teka, baka lukuhin ako nito. Baka maiskam ako. Sometimes you have to be open to people kahit hindi natin kilala. We have to choose intimacy rather than isolation. And that means pwede tayong masaktan. But it's okay. It's okay to be hurt. 
once in a while, at least buhay tayo, di ba? Kapag ka tayo nasundot, ay aray, but you are alive. Nakakaramdam ka pa, hindi ka manhid. So where is the salt and light in our lives, in your life? What does it look like? How does it show up? And there are probably many expressions of being salt and light as there are many people in this place. Sapagkat ang pagdiskarte natin sa pagiging asin at ilaw sa mundo ay kanya-kanyang diskarte. Pero makikita natin sa dulo, suma total, ang itsura niyan ay si Jesus mismo. Ang kanyang buhay, ang kanyang ginawa para sa ating lahat. To live as salt of the earth and light of the world is to know our deepest, truest, and most authentic self. Kung sino talaga tayo, di ba? Let us not forget we are other Christ. Kung yung iba sa atin ang naghahanap, ano ba ang mukha ni Kristo? Nakikita niyo ba si Kristo sa mukha ko? Nakikita ko ba si Kristo sa mga mukha ninyo? Aba, oo naman. Of course, sometimes I have to try hard. And sometimes you also have to try hard. Talaga, Father, nakikita ba namin ang mukha ni Jesus sa iyo? You have to make an effort, di ba? We have to make an effort to see Jesus in one another. It is the life we long for. It is the life that God wants us to have. It is both who we are and how we are to be. That is why Jesus is telling us, huwag mawawalan ang alat o ang lasa ng inyong pagiging asin. Huwag magiging dilim imbis ay maging liwanag. Sabi nga ni Santo Tomas, eh, it is not enough to shine. Mga diamante, nakikita ninyo, mga alahas, they just shine. Pero dapat daw ang isang kristyano, kailangan nag illuminate parang flashlight. Diba? O di kaya, pag illuminate, nagpapaliwanag. Kaya nga pagka merong hindi pagkakaintindihan, ano sinasabi natin? O oh, nagpapaliwanag. Ayun, nagpapaliwanag nga. Kaya dapat intindihin kasi nagpapaliwanag. Ganyan ang ating buhay. Alam niyo, meron akong isang kaknakilala nung magpapasko yata, itago na lamang natin ang kanyang pangalan bilang Felisa. Siya'y pumunta sa akin at uh, takot na takot mag-undergo ng surgery. Uh, katarata lamang naman. Tayo mga senior, marami sa atin dito mga senior, kumisan ay nasiswerihan tayo magkaroon ng katarak. In my case, sabi nung aming eye doctor, Papahinugin pa natin, Father. Anyway, itong si Felisa, lung lumapit sa akin bago magpasko, sabi ko, huwag ko kayong matakot. Takot na takot siya, anxious siya. Sabi niya, Father, baka pwedeng madaan na lang sa dasal yung pag-alis ng katarak sa, sa mata ko. Sabi ko, it's just, you just walk in and then afterwards you walk out. Eh, ganun talaga, di ba? Pagka kayo ay mapap mapapunta sa surgery, natatakot kayo because you don't know. Baka magkamali yung doktor, baka magkamali ng hugot, etc. Anyway, so, well, we prayed. Uh, pagkatapos noon, ay bumalik siya. Kamakailang bumalik siya. Sabi, Father, nakakakita na ako, liwanag. Sabi niyang gano'n. O di, praise the Lord. Sabi ko, ano, kumusta naman yung surgery mo? Medyo inconvenient. Sabi niya, medyo masakit. Pero nawala rin. Sabi niyang gano'n. And she was very, really very thankful no, for that experience of Uh, overcoming her fears at uh, naginhawahan siya sapagkat malaki daw ang pagkakaiba nung nabubuhay ka ng meron parang malabo sa iyong mata. Eh ngayon nakakakita na siya ng malinaw. Ganun-ganun na lang ang kanyang pasasalamat. Bumalik pa siya dito para magpasalamat. At ang iba sa inyo palagi ko ganun din. Ano, nagpapasalamat din. Why? Because of the many blessings the many graces that you have received through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawan. Nag-uumapaw ang kanyang pasasalamat. Hindi mo maipinta sa kanyang muka. Sabi ko, nakakakita na ba kayo ng malinaw? Sabi ni Ari Felisa, Opo, Father. Tuwang-tuwa siya. 
Sana ganun din ang mangyari sa atin pagkatapos nating bumisita dito sa Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Sana mapuno din at hindi maubos ang ating flavor, ang ating ilaw na dapat nating ibahagi sa ating mga kapatid at kung sino man ang ating makakasalamuha. We now stand to profess our faith. Sabay-sabay po tayo ha at ilakas natin. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, being a real disciple of the Lord and an apostle, it's not easy, for we are expected to live in the, the gospel to the full. So aware of our weakness, we shall pray, Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. That the church may remain true to herself and zealously accomplish the mission entrusted to her by the Lord Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. That the Pope, the bishops, priests, and the members of religious congregations may at all times be an inspiration to the entire Christian community. Let us pray. Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. That the Holy Spirit may instill in all people respect for the sacredness of human life from the moment of conception until death and support all those who struggle to uphold the supreme value. Let us pray. Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. That all parents may value the gift of children and raise them with a sense of responsibility to be good Christians and honest citizens. Let us pray. Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. That all pregnant women who are tempted to abort their child may realize the gravity of this crime and may be open to the alternative of giving their child for adoption. Let us pray. Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, make us salt of the earth and light of the world. Lord Jesus, true light of the world, strengthen our determination to fulfill our task of being salt of the earth and light of the world. Sustain us in our endeavor to follow your example and overcome the moral darkness that is around us and within us. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
please. God, our Almighty Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, sagot po kayo ulit ng malakas, ha? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through this Paschal mystery, He accomplished the marvelous deed by which He has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Oh, oh, oh. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we give this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the temple Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saints Dominic and Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Oh, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to one another Christ's sign of peace. Sa pong lahat, peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed indeed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng amin. At isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Well, what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything But to be thrown out and trampled under food Your good.
Please stand. We shall now have the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new. For all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic, let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God, loving God. You entered our world of dark, of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the, condem during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this, we thank and praise you. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for, pray us. for us. Let us pray. O God, who will that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. So once again, brothers and sisters, thank you very much for coming over and visiting Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Sana po ay uh, makita ninyo ang inyong mga totoong sarili bilang asin at ilaw sa inyong buhay upang ipamahagi ito sa ibang tao. Sana rin po ay patuloy nating ipagdasal ang bawat isa at kayo'y makakaasa rin sa aming mga panalangin dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. At kagaya ng pagbati ko sa inyo, pwede naman siguro natin pabaunan yung mga katabi natin ng The Lord be with you bago tayo magkahiwa-hiwalay. Pakisabi rin sa kanila, The Lord be with you. Bow now your heads and pray for God's blessing. Apat na amin na lamang po ito ha, punuin natin ang simbahan ng inyong malakas na amin. May the Lord make you salt of the earth in a society that has lost the meaning of life and of the values that really matter. Amen. Amen. May the Lord enable you to be light of the world through a behavior that shines forth in the midst of so much corruption and hedonism. Amen. May He empower you to defend and promote human life against all attempts to destroy it through abortion, euthanasia, terrorism, and other forms of violence. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. Kung kayo po ay uh, nagpunta rito to pray for healing, o di kaya ay kayo substitute para sa hindi makarating dito for one reason or another, I'd like to invite you to put your right hand over your breast and pray for the gift of healing. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health in accordance with your divine will. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name, 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be blessed naman natin ngayon ang inyong mga rosaryo, crucifixes, and other religious images. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed. And for those who will use them, be made holy too. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.